Standards and Competencies in the K-12 Curriculum The purpose of the K-12 is to elevate basic education to a globally competitive level and benefit our children. Did it benefit our students? And did we produce globally competitive graduates? Tech Block groups wanted to abolish or remove Technical Vocational Education and Training, or TVET, from the K-12 senior high school. They highly recommend to retain the junior high school and professionalize Tech Block education to encourage students to enroll in Tech Block. Technical Vocational Institutions, or TVI's, proposal is to reshape the TVET program and curriculum. They propose the professionalization and the licensing of tech block tracks. These are the livelihood tracks and the professional tracks. Uplift the status of tech block graduates by securing a license or to become a professional. Mr. Tony Galvez a member and officer of the Technical Vocational Schools and Associations of the Philippines, or Tevsafil District, NCR. He is an expert in the technical and vocational education and training industry in the country. He once said, Philippine Technical Vocational Education and Training ang pag-asa para sa kinabukasan ng mga mamamayan at ng bayan. Kung maayos at maganda ang programa. Mr. Tony Galvez is a professional tech box teacher, trainer, assessor, and a master in hairdressing and beauty care. With years of tech box practice, exposures, and experiences where real practical tech box works were being done on the ground. Noted for his strong advocacy of technical vocational professionalization for global competitiveness in the country. A true technical vocational graduate and practitioner with a wide and extensive experience and exposures in the world of technical and vocational education and training. Galvez said, as a practitioner in the field of tech voc in the industry I am in, I have received remarks that tech voc graduates are not treated well. Since I'm on the ground, I can tell based on the feedback I get and observing the people who manage the training schools and centers. Take a look. Who are those involved in Tech Talk? They are from TESTA, TVIs, or owners of schools. The owners of these training schools are all businessmen who do not practice Tech Talk. Being in the Tech Talk organization, I've met the men who are in the field who practice tech book. Their problems are the services being not competitive. Meaning, when it comes to professional fees, there is no institution or agency who regulates on the standard rates or how much a training school should ask. Either way, higher education of ordinary training schools. The metrics of value are measured from the NC2 level that the school offers. He added, what is NC2? The equivalency of NC2 is basic. If a student finishes basic tech box training, why don't employers hire NC2 graduates? This became a major problem when the K-12 was implemented. Employers still prefer college graduates. Why? We are having a job mismatch because people are looking for skilled workers who are professionals, but they can't hire any. For example, I have a business. I'm an employer. I'm looking for the best hairstylist. Where should I base their talents? From the applicant's experience? Truth is, they don't have any document or proof to show their level of skills training or education. As a matter of fact, NC2 level of certifications is not accepted in progressive countries. In a progressive country, before you get hired, they ask for your legible documents and take a board exam. Once passed, they will issue a license to practice your profession. That is the high standard of people who studied textbook being implemented by employers overseas. 
employer's interpretation of equivalency of NC2 is novice. Even at the PCCI, where I was also a trustee, we talked about the equivalency of TechBook and the general image of TechBook graduates. From the K-12 curriculum, senior high school offers a technical vocational NC2 with strands on entrepreneurship and humanities, but those are not applied studies and do not fit in the interest of studies because the ones being taught are only considered general views and simple skills. And yet, no one could check and correct this. It has to have an applied theory. It needs to be corrected or else they will still continue offering short-term education. Whoever sits on the tech book will continue the same system that TESDA is now doing. People call it pangbobo. Summarized by Mr. Galvez. Interpretation of the Philippine Qualifications Framework The PQF is a national policy which describes the level of educational qualifications and sets the standards for qualifications outcomes. It is a quality-assured national system for the development, recognition, and award of qualifications based on standards of knowledge, skills, and values acquired in different ways and methods by learners and workers of a certain country. The call to change is very timely and should consider letting TechVox stand on its own platform apart from the K-12. As mandated by the national government, TechVox education is separate from basic education and higher education. The TechVox education is an alternative training program that covers a unit of specialized skills training focused on professional and livelihood skills. Push through with the K-12, but separate TechVox from it. TechVox is another profession. It's an occupation where you can set up your own business or become an employee. As a service, professionalizing TechVox education will uplift the image of TechVox workers and students will be proud to study TechVox. Once they finish TechVox training with a complete level of competencies, they can set up their own business or get hired as certified skilled workers. What the government can do is not to give training vouchers or budget to schools or TESTA. It can be given directly to the students. Or talk to junior high schools who have consultations as to what the practitioner wants. Like Tony Galvez, as a businessman, what businesses or employers required. As a training school owner, what kind of trainers, assessors, teachers are needed. It should be an industry trainer with experience, not just anybody else. K-12 Technical Vocational Livelihood Education They made it as a livelihood. The only way to have distinction is to separate technical product skills from service skills. TESTA seeks the help of TVIs, and that means... How can TVIs encourage students to go TechVoc? Having K-12 make it appear as a livelihood, people perceived it to be a cheap alternative to education and that graduates would not become successful. Yes, there are successful TechVoc graduates working as OSWs, but not all Filipinos can and will take the same path. TechVoc graduates can still make a name for themselves in the country. The system of TESDA now is to give scholarship vouchers to TVIs. TVIs will provide tools and materials and will look for a sustainable job. In reality, what is happening now is they will give scholarship vouchers to schools. Schools will look for students to fill up the slots or vouchers they got from TESDA and have the quota fulfilled. In most cases, students they get are not into TechVoc, and eventually, they will not pursue the course of training. Galvez said, It should be passion-driven. 
give them the list of tech book courses that includes the service and product skills so that they can pursue their dreams. And consult the junior high school and let them find their interest. Give the vouchers and let the junior high schools look for the training schools they want to enroll in. In 2007, projected NCEE outcomes have seen an inclination for TechVox student interest. Back then, after four years of high school, they should have professionalized TechVox. Either students go to TechVox education or pursue a college education. Prospero de Vera of CHED said that the K-12 was created to push higher education when they are ready. But no one offers a Bachelor's of Science in Construction Services because construction services are tech box. The industry is construction services, but specialization inside the construction, like masonry. What's important is the experience. The government can support the student by issuing an MLA with different businesses allowing and accepting students to become OGPs. Either they hire them as permanent is up to the student to become freelance or set up a small-scale business. We need to be world-class. We need to be known globally. Let's fix our education. We should innovate our own education style on how to produce experts. Uplift the image of TechVox. Ayon kay Ginoong Tony Galvez, itaas ang mababang tingin, impresyon, at imahe ng bokasyonal na teknikal sa bansa ng may prestigyo, dignidad, respeto, at taas noo. Watch our next TechVox episode. Huwag ganun. Mali yun.